There's a couple of limitations that Microsoft has put into the Windows 7 upgrades that can prevent users from upgrading and ultimately force them to do a clean install. The first limitation is that they won't let you upgrade to Windows 7 if you're running the Windows 7 release candidate that was released earlier this year. The other limitation is that they won't let you upgrade to a downgraded Windows edition. For instance, if you're running Windows Vista Ultimate, you cannot upgrade to Windows 7 Professional. You'd have to buy the Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. Well, here's some hacks for working around these limitations. If you try to upgrade from the Windows 7 release candidate to the full version of Windows 7, you'll be met with this error. This is because by default the Windows 7 upgrades only support specific versions of Windows 7. To correct this, we'll just need to change what versions are supported. And to be able to do this, you'll first need to copy over all the files from your Windows 7 upgrade CD to your computer. After that, you'll need to find a folder called Sources, and in that folder you'll see a file called cversion.ini. If you open up this file in a text editor, you'll see that the min client is set to 7233.0. Since the release candidate build is 7100, if you change the min client to match 7100.0, it will allow you to upgrade from the release candidate. Now just save the changes and run setup.exe from the files you copied over and you should now be able to install Windows 7. If you're running Vista or XP Ultimate and you want to install Windows 7 Professional, you'll probably get met with this error, which is because Windows 7 won't let you upgrade to a downgraded Windows Edition. To fix this error, you'll need to change your current Windows information so that it fools the installer into thinking it's a different version. To do this, go to Start and type in RegEdit and then hit Enter. If you're running Windows XP, go to Start, Run, and then type in RegEdit. In the registry, go to H key Local Machine and find the software folder within that. Then find the Microsoft folder and the Windows NT folder and then select the current version folder. You should see two entries in this folder, one called Edition ID and one called Product Name. Double click on Edition ID and change it to whatever version you want by typing either Home, Professional, Ultimate, or Enterprise. Likewise, double click on the product name and change the last word of the product name to match the one that you entered in the Edition ID. Now you can close out of the registry and try it again. This time it should work. If you have any questions, please let me know on my new Facebook page or feel free to send me a tweet via Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.